That was a bauble. Yeah, right, peeps, just a quick update on yesterday's session. Uh, we went down to the seven as normal. Um, we was going to go to a different location, but Nafe was taken on well, so we ended up a little bit local or closer to home, I should say. Um, and yeah, it was a, it was kind of a frustrating day, and we kind of wish we went to the original location. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, Melvin went for Barbel. Uh, I believe he had a couple of chill knocks. Rich went um, um, maggot feeder, casters and so forth. Um, he had a really tough day uh, and I went literally, uh, well, I went for Pike. Um, uh, yeah, quite frustrating. I had, I had a Pike early on on the dead bait. I then missed a big perch, which I don't capture on film in Melvin swim. Uh, I knew it was a per well, I knew it was, wasn't a Pike straight away. Uh, I kind of was thinking along the lines it was a chub or a, a, a perch. Uh, but it was on the biggest spoon in my box. Um, there was a, a lot of head shaking on it. Um, brought it in, see it was a perch and it came off. Melvin see it, I see it, so uh, yeah, you just have to take our word for it. Um, but yeah, uh, Rich had a, a perch around midday um, and then a couple of perch later on, but he was fishing 12 foot, 14 foot of water maybe. Uh, I think he's probably deeper than that in, the, in that peg because I have fished it before. And uh, yeah, I found it hard fishing uh, when I fished it before. Um, I did take the lure rod up, up the river later on and the dead bait rod down the river later on, close to the car. Uh, I missed one pike, which you see, which I wish I did catch. Um, it it kind of looks silver in the water. Uh, and Rich did ask me w uh, when we was on location, uh, whether it was, was a Xander. No, it was 100% a pike. I, I could see, I could actually take pictures with my phone. And you can make out the outline of it on my phone. Um, I'm not going to include them because I'm quite crap pictures, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it was 100% definitely a pike. Uh, it, it nicked a roach. I was actually watching the roach and rather than the float. Uh, it took a roach and I uh, struck into it, literally nicked the roach. Um, munched on it in the side, didn't even, uh, you know, disturb it. Uh, and then switched to mackerel, chucked that in. Wasn't interested in the mackerel. Turned his nose up at it twice. And, and swim off so I took that back off put a roach back on took the mackerel in the side uh, took the roach out and uh, I, it, it kind of left I, I don't know where it went um, then just before I went to vacate that peg I looked down at the mackerel and there's a either a near double or a low double staring right at the mackerel right at my feet unfortunately that that wasn't really captured on camera uh, you, you, you couldn't you can't make it out um, I'll bring the dead roach across it and uh, and move it out to deeper water. And it does actually, th this fish did actually follow the dead roach. Um, so whether it was up for chasing, uh, I don't know. But uh, I, I did try the lure on there a little bit. Um, but yeah, it actually came back in, like, because obviously it stayed out there looking at a dead roach and then it, it disappeared. At which point I joined the lure rod. And then later on, just before I vacate, I kind of still my welcome in the peg. Just before I vacate the peg to get to the next peg, it was sitting at the mackerel again. Uh, I should probably pick the mackerel up uh, and put that on. But yeah, it, it, it swam off, so it kind of ignored the mackerel and swam off. So it, it's kind of one of those. If I'd have put the mackerel on, would it, yeah, you know. Anyway, went to the next peg. Uh, yeah, not, not from that point on. Uh, not, not a lot happened. Um... I, I saw two other pikemen that informed them about the pike and, and yet yeah, what I found out this morning that they, they, they didn't catch it either so it is what it is. Anyway, I should give a passing mention to this in this video to the Black Country Piker because he inadvertently um, stumbles across one of the pigs we fished. I don't know if it was last week or a couple of weeks back. Um, and he had a frustrating time where we had a frustrating time. But I think he, 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 he had a better session than us, so, so um, 
it is what it is so if you haven't checked out his latest video go and check his latest video and i'll put a link in the yep yeah somewhere, somewhere about there yeah um so yeah go and check out his latest video and uh hopefully we'll get back on the bank next week with all of us and uh try try a session somewhere now um until then guys uh take it easy and uh catch you later went over there i know yeah need to get can of cody back in our midfield at least and you've got someone who can play center back if you if you need it Ooh. Rich. Rich. A point in your swim. Yeah, he's strong enough. Deep there. I know he's fucking deep there. No. Mate's quite not fuck this is. Bring him down. Yeah. Fuck me, he's gonna fight again in a minute because he, 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 he. Yeah? Is he gonna tense up? He probably will. He's already that neck now. He probably will. Is that a leech on your finger? Probably. That fucking. That reset. Is it reset? Yeah, zero. You got you seen the net? Go on, let me take it off. Seven, eight, eight, seven. Seven, nine. Seven, nine. <laughs>